the band was started by Emilio Castillo. Mm -hmm. And him uh, and Rocco Prestia, the bass player, they have been playing music together since the first day they played music. They started as the Gotham City Crime Fighters. They wore little Batman costumes and stuff. They eventually grew to the point where they became the Motowns. But no one was going to sign it. They felt no one was going to sign a, a band called the Motowns. So they changed their name to Tower Power. And the Fillmore West used to have a Tuesday night thing called Sounds of the City which was a, essentially like a battle of the bands. So it, this was their last ditch effort. They felt that if they, this didn't happen, the band was breaking up. So they played at the Fillmore on this Tuesday night thing, Sounds of the City, and they won a recording contract. The original drummer was Emilio's brother. I was playing at that club in Oakland. The a couple of the guys used to come and sit in. So they asked me if I was interested in coming to check out the band. So I went and I heard them at a place called Keystone Corner in San Francisco. As soon as I went to hear them, I just I knew that was there was no thought in my mind. Well, you know, you're not going to do it. I met Emilio. We played, worked out. You know, we enjoyed each other. It was tough for him. He had to replace his brother. You know, but uh, you know. I'm glad I had the opportunity to do it, you know. So July 23rd, we did our first, our first gigs up in Lake Tahoe, and I remember we we played there. We were up there for a week. We slept on the floor in the club and all this stuff, and it was great, you know. The first, our first record, we pretty much played live, you know, the East Bay Grease, and it was done very quickly. We did it in September 1970, and then it was out like I think in November. So I joined the band in, in July. We recorded in September. It was out in. November, we rehearse every day. We had our own rehearsal hall over in Berkeley. We got rid of that place and then we rehearsed exclusively at Studio Instrument Rentals in San Francisco uh, at 4th and Folsom. All the San Francisco bands rehearsed there Santana, um, you know, Billy Cobb, and when he lived there, there was doing the Spectrum album. He lived in the Bay Area. His bands used to rehearse there. Herbie Hancock used to rehearse his bands there. Journey, when they started, you know, we it was like a kind of a hang. So we were, I just remember there being there all the time and work, we'd work on our music, you know. It was just a really, really cool thing. So it was an everyday thing. That's where we sort of, I think, developed our work habits because today it's still pretty much an everyday thing. I mean, we work like crazy today and I think it's just because that's how we do it. You know, we've always done it that way, you know. Work every day at our music. It started changing in 1974 because, uh, you know, when when we made money, we started making money, um, we started getting loaded. And there was a lot of cocaine, there was a lot of heroin addiction, alcohol, you know. And it was, it went from being innocent partying to lifestyle. 